Good morning. Oh, welcome back to another episode of Monday Morning Yo-Yo. I am your host, G2 Jake, for the, what do you guys think, like, 127th Monday in a row? I'm not sure. We've been doing Monday Morning Yo-Yo for a while. It's the good stuff. Um, Monday Morning Yo-Yo, what we do, and I think, I think there's a good chance that you know by now, and this isn't your first Monday Morning Yo-Yo. We fill you in on yo-yo news around the world that I feel like you sh you need to know about. Like, if you're here just for the G-squared stuff, you still should know about this yo-yo news. Lately, that really hasn't been happening very often. Um, so it's like a couple scales contest, the 5A patent for the counterweights. Um, not a whole lot happens in our world that is, like, need-to-know news. So, last week, uh, nothing stands out that you needed to know. So then we're going to hop into what G2 did last week, what we plan to do this week, and preferably not eat too much ace hair. Uh, last week, we created trick number eight. We'll have a tutorial for you this week. Uh, we dropped the AL7 Blue Smoke. It's got the black SS rims. And we dropped those on Friday. Those are going out today weather permitting. I need the weather to hold off during the mail pickup time so that your boxes can be sitting out there and not get um, drenched. That's the those were the main things we did last week and you know the fresh AL7 box and we updated the backing of our packages so that's cool when you get some new stuff check it out as always the new yo-yo smell. No, oh, but this week, this week, last week we also had the the conversation, um, not in the in Monday morning yo-yo, but the conversation with Andy as you guys kind of saw where we're at with that. Uh, he's still working on my stuff. I'm gonna ask him to ship out what he has done today, and then continue to work on our stuff. If he does that, we should get some on Thursday. We can probably squeeze them in for a Friday drop for you guys. We've got. Reapers, Pelicans, and Respawns anodized already. He's got some more stuff he's still working on, but I'm going to try and get him to ship out that, and then when they get here, we'll decide which one we would like to drop <clears throat> if they get here on time. I mean, even if they get here Friday, I can still do a weekend drop. That's nicer for those of you overseas watching because um, usually when we have to do a weekday drop, I do it in the evening here. So overseas, it's usually like weird night hours morning hours um but other than that we're going to be getting prepped for when the gbps come in and the gbps a little bit of an update here um we're having some issues with the colored rings if you guys remember i don't know a couple months ago now i mentioned that the purple rings um to get those i had to order more than double the amount that i needed because uh, they were having issues with them, so they didn't want to do the purple rings. I had already gotten, they had already told me they could do purple rings. They didn't give me a limit on how many. I had already pre-ordered them with you guys, so I wanted to make sure we had the purple rings. So I ordered over double the amount that I needed, and I guess we're still having issues with the purple and the gold. Um, so this week I'm going to find out, you know, when they think this is going to be set up. Um, they told me I'll still have them in April, but I'd like to know if it's going to be fixed this week or if it's going to take another week or two. If it's going to take another week or two, I'm going to ask them to ship the iridescent and the stainless steel GBPs to me, and we'll start with those. I don't have to get them all at the same time to get started. Um, it's going to take me some time to get all of these tests and package and whatnot. So I'll keep you guys updated once I get a, a solid response from that. I was hoping to have them in this week and get started. And I think they're going to be, it's going to depend on what happens with these colored rings on when they're going to ship, if they'll ship the SS rims and the iridescent um, for whatever reason. So the iridescent, it's a multicolor, so you don't get the flaws because it's just part of the design. Um, but when you have the solid purple or the solid gold, if there's any, issues it sticks out because it's supposed to be a solid color ring so that's where we're at with those 
And that's it for Monday Morning Yo-Yo. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow, same place. Same time.